Hello everybody and welcome back to Supertech Services. On today's video we're going to be doing a follow-up video on how to disable two-sided or duplex printing on a Mac. Uh, this video is going to be geared towards HP printers. We've been having some um, some of the users that are having issues with HP so I installed an HP printer which is a little older but um, I installed an HP printer on mine and I just want to see if uh, this will work or not. So we're going to go ahead and just install the HP first then I'll show you how to disable the double side. Alright, so just go to the Apple menu, System Preferences, and then click on uh, Printers and Scanners. And then you're just going to click the plus button like I did at the very bottom there. Alright, so the first icon that you see right there on the top left, and then I went to the middle and then the right, we're just going to go back over to the left here. This is the Bonjour tabs. This normally pops up your printers if it supports Bonjour. And then it tries to automatically install the driver for you, which is great. As you can see, my driver is already installed. Um, you can also go right here to the middle and type in the IP address of your printer. This is the way that I usually do it. It's a little more old school, but um, this is the way I like to do it. Just put in the IP address. And then same thing, it's going to try to automatically find the driver at the bottom, which is great. And you have these protocols here as well. So I usually use the LPD but you have the HP Jet Direct Socket and AirPrint is the newest, latest one that uh, Apple supports. Only if your printer supports it and it works really good. If you guys are having issues printing double-sided, try to switch over to this AirPrint protocol, especially if you have a newer printer that might solve your problem. Mine's older, so I'm going to leave it and it did select the uh, proper driver. And you can also use the generic postscript if you just need generic printing. And um, if you want to select your driver, just go to select driver and type in HP and see if yours is listed there. And if it's not, you may need to go to the HP website and actually download it and then install it. But um, so enough of that. Let's just uh, name the printer. Pretty sure you guys should have all this done already, uh, your printer installed. You just want to know how to disable the duplex or the double sided. So if your printer does support duplex, which a lot of yours will, you can leave that box checked. Um, you can even try to uncheck it and see if maybe that also works for you. Alright, now to disabling the double side. What you want to do is just open up a web page. Uh, browser of your choice does not matter. I'm going to go with Safari. And you're just going to type in localhost colon 631. Once again, localhost colon 631 all together. And then just press enter. When you do that, you're going to see this cups menu here that pops right up. And uh, Cups is made by Apple and all the Unix operating systems. It's how you modify the printer. And you're just going to want to click on Printers. When you do that, you should get this thing that says Web Interface is Disabled. And it's OK. We're going to get rid of that. So you're just going to copy in between the parentheses, right at the C, all the way to the S. And then just tap on it, right click it, and hit Copy. Perfect. Now we're going to swing over to the top here. And just go into the search function and type in terminal. And then press enter when you're done. And then this little box is going to pop up. Okay. Now you're just going to right click it again and hit paste. And then press enter. And that's all you have to do there. So we're pretty much um, enabling the interface. So let's just close that down. And now you're going to want to reload the page. So just right click again and reload page. And boom, just like that, now you're in. Now you're on the printers tab. So what you want to do is just click the HP printer. That's the one that we installed. Your name will be whatever uh, the name of your printer is. And then under administration, scroll down to set default options. And there's where we have the HP. These options are a little different than the ones I used before for the um, Konica. So under options installed, we have duplex unit installed, not installed. Normally this will be installed if your unit does support duplexing, but you can also try to put not installed. It's up to you. Okay, now under the general tab where it says two-sided, um, uh, make sure that's on off. That will keep you from automatically printing uh, two-sided for most people. Hopefully that works for most. And then I'm just uh, clicking on options here. I just want to see if there's anything here under color options. Doesn't look like it. Policies, no, you're fine there. Port monitor, you're fine there. 
finishing under manual duplex leave that on no as well but like I said you can also play with it see if um, if putting it on yes helps you I'm just trying to show you the options that HP has that's different from other um, some, some of the other companies so it looks like we have three tabs that you can play with the options installed general and finishing tab all have something to do with duplex play with all these turn them all off turn them on who cares and just make sure you press set default options at the very end you have to put your username and password in or the settings will not take usually it's your just your first name last name and then the password to your computer and you can find this by just going to system preferences and users to get your name okay then once everything is done once you set it put your password in now you're just gonna wanna go and test it you're just gonna wanna print a document that you used to print that came out double-sided and see if it actually comes out single and if it doesn't go back in and play with some of the settings if I get a newer HP I'll come back and film a follow-up video like I said mine is a little older so um, mine does work I've already tested it but um, uh, one thing I would try try the air print setting on the newer ones that may just work for you with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope this works for you. Please leave me a comment, and I'll try to get back to you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.